Plan plot frames enable the user to set up frames of plan plots which can be generated and regenerated as required by the user. We'll place these plot frames on the plan view and only the data in the plan view will be plotted. So we'll set up our plan view design with just the data we want to plot. I'll remove tin super from the view and we'll just use the models which you can see here. So a line cross sections and design RS1, survey boundary tin, road, sewer, and UT water. Then select plot, plot frames, create. In the title file field, we'll pick a file supplied with the training data set. So select the folder icon, then browse, navigate back to getting started basic, and pick the file planplot.tbf. This will populate the plotting and margin tabs with the naming and sizing information of the plot frame. So we just need to position the plot frame suitably to cover our road design. We'll start by picking the origin. So pick the icon to the right of that field and then pick a location on the screen close to our road. Then create. We'll then add the model from this panel to the plan view, which is PFA1 survey. And we can see the plot frame there. Now we could almost fit the entire road design into this plot frame, but let's make the frames a bit smaller, so we need to use multiple of them. We'll change the scale from 1 is to 1000 to 1 is to 500. Then to update the plot frame, select set. So that's updated the size of the plot frame and you'll see we'll need multiple frames now to cover the design. We can use the translate and rotate buttons to line up the plot frames. So I'll rotate first and line the plot frame up with the northern end of the road, which is the start of the road. Then translate to get as much information as I can into the plot frame. left click and accept to position the plot frame. Once we've got the frame in the position we want, I'll select finish. And we'll go through the same process to set up our second plot frame. So plot, plot frames, create. This time though, we won't select that title file. We'll instead select the same as button, then pick and accept on our first plot frame which will load the parameters into the panel from that plot frame. We'll change the name and the color. So I'll just add two at the end of the name and change the color to green. Then again, select create. That'll place the second plot frame in the exact same position as the first. So we'll rotate and translate this one to line it up with the next length of the road. So I'll rotate first. Then translate. Then set. And finish. Then set up the third and last plot frame to cover the remaining part of the road. So again, plot, plot frames, create, pick same as, pick and accept the second plot frame. Change the name and the color, this time to blue. And create. Then rotate and translate. And set again and finally finish. So now we have the whole road covered by plot frames. If we ever need to edit any of these plot frames, we can select plot, plot frames, editor, then use the pick button and pick and accept on the plot frame you want to edit. 
I'll close that panel. So now we have the plot frame set up, we'll run our plot. From the plan view toolbar, we'll select the plot icon, then pick plot frames, which opens the plot frame PPF editor. Here we can create a plot frame customization, like how we did with our cross sections and long sections. We're going to set this customization up from scratch though, so we won't be loading in an existing PPF like we did with the cross sections and long sections. We'll start by selecting the model of the plot frames, so pick the model icon, then select PFA1 survey. Then pick the view that we'll be plotting the models from, so select the view design. We'll be plotting to model, which is already selected, and the plot file stem, so the name of the model to be created, will make preview plot frames. Then in the plot to models node, we'll change clean plot models beforehand to clean all elements. This is so we don't get duplicate plots when we replot the plot frames. Then in the title block node, we'll tick on use title block file then expand this title block node and select user title block. Then in the title file field, we'll select the plan plot title block file, which is the same one we use to set up our plot frames. That will bring up this table, which we'll need to fill out to have the entries appear in the title block of our plots. So description line one, I'll make stage one. Drawing number can be training 01. Client name can be Barwin. Horizontal datum is MGA 94. And level datum AHD. So just a few of those filled out. Then under the symbols node, each of the plot frames have a different real world orientation. So it will be useful to include a north point on the plots so people viewing the plots can tell what direction north is on the page. So in the symbol column, we'll right click, then expand 12D standards, and select the top one, 12D north. The scale mode will be native scale and the scale 500. We'll select yes to rotate with the plot, which will ensure that the north arrow is pointing north no matter the orientation of the plot frame. We'll make the color magenta. And we'll place the symbol at X of 100 and Y of 500 on the page. Then select plot. We'll review the plots before we save off this plot frames customization that we've set up. So back into the plot plan view. I'll remove the current models from the view. Then add to the view preview plot frames one. And we can see the plot generated from within the first plot frame we created, which is at the start of the road. The title block's also there with all of the details that we filled in, in that user title block node. We're happy with that plot, so let's take a look at the other two. I'll remove this one and add the second plot. That looks all good. And I'll remove this one and add the third. And that looks good as well. So I'll save the PPF now. I'll select the folder icon and select user lib because we're saving all our customized PPFs in that location. I'll type in getting started plot frames. Then open. Then select the right button to save the PPF in the user library location. 
So now when we want to use plot frames to plot, we just need to make sure that we create the plot frames with the same title file and within the same model. Then we'll be able to reproduce plots with the same settings by selecting plot on the PPF.